Welcome back, everyone. We've now reached what may be the end of the road for us. We've gotten the observatory done. We've got the craftsman's key made. Well, that may be a problem for us. There's some mysteries still to solve, but unfortunately, we may not have the time we thought we would to have them. Mysteries like this safe. Maybe what we need is oil. But that is for us to discover. We can't get that back. All right. So, what we did is we solved the puzzle, got the last pyramid, babulated it into this uh, little key. And now, we also got word from Maggie over here to try to find a way to escape. There's still some things we need to solve, such as this um, phonograph thing. We now have this final door over here. I just want to test something real quick in the garden room that led us to the forge. It seems really weird if we can get this music to start. Oh. Is there a code? I think there might be. Wait, there is a code. There is a code. Now that I know I can do it that way, I think there's a code. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. See, we've got so many mystery solves in this main hub area, we may be able to get one of the two endings. Oh, we're on 1795. 1795. So this last room is just taunting us. And I worry that going through there, we're not going to make our way back. And there's still so much more to do. Okay, so let's try this code, 1795, and let's see if that does anything for us. Because that may give us... Because there's a key here needed, there's a key over there needed, and we'll need some clock keys for that. Just making sure there's nothing. Else.
Oh, hey! It's working. Well, whatever it did, it did it. So... Let's go back to the other room. See if that did anything. Yep, something's ringing. What did it do? What did it do? What did it do? Huh? All right, well, looks like it's a mystery that's not going to be solved this time. May have to, uh, look it up. I have no more hints, so I think we got to go to the next area. And we are. While we're loading, thank you. Rooftop. Ha. Huh. Before we do anything, let's see if there's anything. Oh, there's a trap door there. There. Okay. I guess those go there, but. Yep. Time to open up this uh, thing. Use the key. It is not for the eyepiece. Yep. Have to go in here. All right, in we go.
I'm not seeing this right. Ah! Ah! That was the problem. And then all the way up here. Now I see what's going on with the solving of this. All right, we've got power for this thing. Let's see how we're gonna, what we're gonna do now. Oh, it's a mirror game. The transmutation circle. Can't go back to there. you. Sorry, folks. Ah! So we gotta get it wrote down. Maybe this? Rotating. Okay, the zoetrope. Big problem here, of course. What gets moved next? That needs to be there. Oh, that got up. This is own trope. That's a hint. Where do you go? Ah, Madame Leo. Okay, the keys now. Oh. We got a journey into the key now. Down the hole!
go. All right, we've got a beam going down that way. Another... where I started. Congratulations! You have found the center of my labyrinth. That may feel like a victory, but it leaves me you farther from freedom than you have ever been. If it is any consolation, you are not the first, and you will not be, be far from the last. You know that every single turn led you to this point. As you like to puzzle so much, I have one final riddle for you to occupy your attention. What is the difference between a maze and a labyrinth? How can I expect you to answer them when you can't tell a room from a prison? <laughs> the craftsman. Oh, fuck. Oh, frick me! I believe we just got the bad end. Yep. Congratulations, you completed the room for the first time with the address of your actions. However, there are alternate endings for you to discover. You can now use the Change Your Fate button on the main menu to visit Grievous Greyhome. Only by using the mysterious artifacts hidden by the craftsman can you earn the power to alter your destiny. Well, this is interesting. Change my fate! One of four endings, okay. Well, this is good. This is good. Because I was worried I'd have to do some more eternally looking. So, I guess... The problem because there's gonna be no more hints, so this is all our mind muscles. We saw some of it. Like this room we solved. Oh god, it's gonna be me searching around. No? Yeah, that's not gonna solve it. So we've got the first ending, which is imprisoned. Basically, we're trapped in the labyrinth forever and ever. Until... Fate says otherwise. So we've redone that. Sorry, I'm just trying to figure out how the heck this is working. So we now need to figure out how we're going to get out of this ending. Anything 
here. Look at all these scratched out people. So, this clock requires two keys. I got this cube. You know, I just can't seem to solve. Sell this one. That doesn't leave us with much of anything else. So we may have to come back here for a little bit to see what else is going on. See if there's anything else I'm missing. Oh, wait. Where are you? Need more crystals for that. I'm a dummy. I'm a dummy. I am a dummy. Wait, what's this? That's a wood post. Okay, so. Okay, this is going to take us a little time, so... So this is going to be a lot of us bashing our heads around stuff, so... Mysteries of this area are going to be solved with this, and not that. I think that phone thing was just to get this activated. Sorry about this. It doesn't seem to be working. Okay, so now we've got a weird ass device.
fit in there anymore now, well. I think that could be used as a thing, because you need a spherical thing there for that. Clear all the rooms. Maybe hints to get out. Ooh, we need to do see this from a different angle. One of the problems we have is we need keys. There's got to be a reason for this to be like that. I'm wondering... I'm wondering... If the reason in question... Is for this. That doesn't seem to make sense. To go back to Grey Hall. Wonderfully complex. Because we know what our fate's going to be if we go through that door. What I don't know. That sounds. I may have to look into this. I want to make sure you guys are getting the best enjoyment. So, what if, uh, gosh darn it, there are two things, there are some things that are being solved. So first, let's go back to the greenhouse room, because I think we need the X shape. I don't know why, but I think we need the X shape. Let's try the X shape on that. 
is we've got all these different shapes. We've got a cylinder. A sphere. Ooh, 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 Brago, ooh, Brago. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Back to that little advert thing there. One side was a square, one side was a sphere. I thought I had to break something to get that. No, that's not what it is, is it? We had to make it a sphere. If I had only paid more attention. You see, I had to be more focused. But I'm trying to change my fate, so I can't really be focused. This may give us some new information if we do this. <laughs> we got movie sign. It's time to meet Jamaica on the Muppet Show tonight. Puzzle makes sense. Oh, you're clever. You're clever. You're very, very clever. Okay, so now the pieces are falling into places. Now I know why we have to have the phone num phone call for this. So we're going to be recording a, a cylinder. But we need to make a call. <laughs> so. We will avoid our fate. Apparently there's... So, it looks like we have at least multiple endings. And there's achievement for each of those endings. Let's see if we can get all of them. So, let's dial that number. Room is one seven nine five. We also have in that room as well a keyhole thing. We're probably going to need the sphere back. I mean, hopefully we can get the sphere back, because I think we're going to need it for something else. Alright. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. We're making a... that blank cylinder. Now, of course, I have some, there are other forms you have to take. Like I said, you got a cylinder, a sphere, back to its basic cube shape. Okay, you can re. Okay, so that's the good news. All right, we've got movie sign, folks. Back to that theater. August 3rd. A breakthrough. The portal remains stable, but only to look through. Touching the thing causes the image to fade. I need more power if I am to pass, a physical, to pass physically to the other side. The landscape is beyond extraordinary. 
Got another token for Maggie. Oh. That's it? Can't use that anymore? Damn. That was my concern. But. But. Maybe Maggie can tell us something now. Okay, Maggie. If we want to escape... I gotta pay you a token. reveal. Release. I know where that goes. Thank you, Maggie. Back to the greenhouse. The other things we can probably explore about will ch ch try to change our fate is going to be some interesting stuff. So, um, first and foremost, let's see if we can solve everything in here because I know the study still has some mysteries for us. And this ain't it. Where do you. Oh. Where are you going? I assume that. No? No. Where do you go? You don't go here, do you? No. Test something real quick. And we may come back to this. A few moments later. God, that was... Oh! Wow! I would not even notice that until I heard that... the clock thing. I wonder if it's based on time in the game, or... Oh, God, that's weird. Wild and weird, but weird. Well, we got a crystal.
because we need one more. Is that working? What else am I missing? Next one has to do with this. There's also at least one more token. And that's the real issue, is how the frick am I gonna... In the safe? Maggie, you gotta tell me what's going on here. A few moments later. Okay, so we're gonna try and get this whole thing taken care of, because apparently... I had to look up some guides for these endings. There's some again. I'm a dumb thumb. I need help with hints. And I was. It's that safe. It is that safe that's been bothering me this whole time. So let's get back up. Because the way you get the endings is. Basically, it's... If you've ever played Myst, um, you'll know what I'm talking about here. So, first and foremost, our missing wheel. No time. So... Got a key. Now this key is going to be used for somewhere else, but you know this safe, this safe, this safe right here that's been bothering me. That old can't do anything. Apparently, there's something here I never noticed. Probably because. Ah, there we go. So, yeah. Back, forward, forward, and back, forward, back, forward, back. Ha! Bye bye, safe. Now, that sounds like it's very expensive. Let us take a look and see what happened downstairs. Shall we, folks? And yes, here we go. I think we finally solved almost everything. So yeah, it was serendipity, pure serendipity, that I discovered a gosh dang here in that thing. So, because apparently I looked on the guide somewhere, apparently it is real time. Every 15 minutes, that will ding for that one clock in the other room. Oh, look, there's our safe. Our third crystal. August 11th. I woke up on the floor of the workshop again. A new box was on the table, and I recall nothing of making it. Did I create any of them? Or only dream these creations. What is beyond doubt is that there is something guiding my hand. Who pulls the strings of the puppet master? I know there's another token, because there's four tokens for cards. But meanwhile. Let us plug in this little... There goes our little crystal friend.
We're gonna have a little maze solving here, boys. By the way, it's very interesting that they actually have these little remote things. I wonder if it's like a little mini robot or what have you. I wonder if we're following this arrow too that's on the corner here. Looks like there's a pedestal right there. A mysterious artifact. Thank you, my friend. Now, if you remember, we have a key. If you also remember, there's a keyhole here. Interesting. All right, back in we go, boys. Ooh. Is that it? It can't be it. Oh, maybe it is it. Let's take a look. No, not all the way here, but I appreciate it. We gotta do both sides. It's one of those freaky little things you gotta. Okay, that should hopefully permanently solve it. Very interesting stuff. So now we've got what this let's see what this bit 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 It is the last token. Let's see what Maggie has to say. My dear friend Maggie. What will you give us? What will we sold by this? Fortune Teller devices are very amazing. Our last clue. Lost. Maggie? gotten mysterious artifact one mysterious artifact two a screwdriver and the key shall we folks shall we explore all these lovely little endings
back to the tower. So we're going to be speed running it through here. So, if you notice, also, along with our mysterious screwdriver friend, we have both objects here. So, yep. What we'll probably do is we'll probably, when we do the next endings, we're going to jump to all this kind of stuff going on. You know, the usual standard fare. So... This is going to be very, very straightforward. By the way, note at the bottom, hexagon. Pentagon. Well, diamond, actually, I should say. So. In we go. So, we're going to probably jump here a couple times, just so we get to each ending. A few moments later. Alright, welcome back. Brief little th intermission. So, as you notice, we have a towers here. Nothing we can do with them. Except... We're going to be doing this tower first. And... Here we go! Now you remember the puzzle from the you remember the puzzle from the beginning, right? Same thing going on here. got more. It's a little more intricate. This is going to be one of these annoying little puzzles that... skipping ahead. I love it when it works. So, what we've done is we have changed this.
We're not going to the train door now. Ooh, that's neat. So let's see what this door takes us to. Ba -ba -ba -da -ba. Let's -a go. Whoa. Oh, God. Oh, dear God. Run, 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 run. Get to the boat. Oh my god, the boat! I'm on a boat! Oh shit! The Null's not happy, folks! I knew! Bye, Greyholm! I don't know if this letter will reach you. I only know the warder will take my bribe. You must come at once. When we opened the gateway, something was waiting. It had always been waiting. Now it is here. Soon we are doomed. I, ha I know you have no reason to trust me, but you must. You are the only one who can help. You are the only one who knows. You are the only one who believe me. I'm in Bethlehem. Find me. Hey, look at that. We've got ending three. Release. So, we're going to change our fate, folks. A few moments later. And, once again, we're at this point. Our train door is right there. But we're not going to go there. No. We're going to go here. Using the hexagonal pad, we've just inserted into here. Let's see what happens when we solve the puzzle here. In we go. Bah! This one's more interesting. You just... We just solved it. <laughs> of the two, this is easier. And now we simply uh, push the button. I don't like that door. So let's... It's a more intact one. Alright, let's see what's in this door. Open that door. Get on the floor. Shall we walk the dinosaur? Or Elder Horror? Oh shit! Oh dear! Oh no! We better go! Better go! Better go! Better go! Ha ha ha! Oh! Oh god! Oh! Oh, we're on a boat! Oh, the Null's not happy. Oh, dear. Oh, no. Well, I think the craftsman's gonna have to get some work done on his own stuff. But, hey! <laughs> we survived. <laughs> I must have poured over a thousand maps. Greyhome isn't just gone. It never existed. I sometimes doubt my sanity, and others are starting to agree with me. This quest can only leave me in an asylum. No matter. I find curiosity has lessened its grip on me, and life's other interests are returning. Whatever it was that drew me to is gone. I can sense it no longer. And I finally feel free. 
Was there ever a source of that all? Or was it always just bait in the trap? I know now that I will never know. And that knowledge is a sweet, sweet joy. We just got the escape ending. Okay, folks, we've seen the last two endings. We've created a Cthulhu-ish Eldritch Horror Doom with the right. We get the heck out of here on the left. In both cases, Grey Home destroyed. Now let's see what happens if we do the old mist route and combine them. So you're going to have to wait a minute. So once I get everything set up, we'll do that. And of course, we're back in this section part. So, what we've got to do. If you notice, it's a lot like mist. Now, I actually do the things. I noticed something when I was doing this. If I push one button, boom. You get the, you get, this is the ending of, you know, release. This is the third ending. If I push this button, this is the escape thing. Now, obviously, we can't choose one. It's just one or the other. So the question becomes, how do you get both? Well, apparently, this is the reason why you have the screwdriver. We put them together. So let's get this door. This is a weird looking one. Nully, nully, null, null. And we go to the go. Mars? Mars? Oh god, we're going down there. Welcome to Mars, people! Congratulations! You have discovered all the secrets within the walls of Greyhome and have finally seen all the endings of the Room 3. Your dedication in this manner has been impressive. Fireproof Games salutes you. Well, thank you, Fireproof Games! So, folks, it's time for old, good old Doc here to review this game. And I've been enjoying the Room series so far. Really have. And you know what? It's cool stuff. I mean, I'm actually, like, the third one is the most interesting so far because you have all the individual areas for the uh, discovery of these little things. You have to do a little stuff. I mean, admittedly, in my stupidity, or I shouldn't say stupidity, my cluelessness, I couldn't get all the stuff for this. I had to use hints, obviously. I mean, nobody's perfect. But... What really concerned me is when I heard there was multiple endings, I was worried I was going to have to do everything all over again. Uh, when it, the occurrence is man, manner, uh, that was definitely what would have to happen. Here, no, you got to change your faith button, which is a very nice thing to do, which is a very nice thing to have. So that's going to do it. That's it for the room three, everyone. I want to thank you all for joining me on this journey. This is a really enjoyable game. I hope you had a fun time exploring it with me. See you next time, guys. Because there's one more room to go through. And I hope you join me on that time. This is Doc Bravenby, signing off. Saying, good night, and remember, Doc loves you.